This is a beach where people go to the bathroom in public. The streets are constantly refreshed with human excrement. And as you walk, you'll need to oftenly dodge human and animal feces to not get infected. It's currently 6 a.m. In the middle of the street is exactly what you see. Well, it's probably blurred for you guys, but shit. There's shit everywhere in the middle of the street. Hey, okay, we're up early. We're going for a run. I'm showing you guys how India is like when it's quiet. And I'm in a pretty good area. Don't let anybody fool you saying, oh, you're in the bad spot. I'm currently in Bandra, Mumbai, and this is my first time in India. I woke up in the morning to go for a run, and after having spent 24 hours off camera getting a feel for the city, here's my initial reaction. Man, they do not stop honking. There is shit all over the streets. Cows walk in the middle of the street on the highway. Strung along the side of the road were hundreds of tuk-tuk drivers sleeping in their cars to save money. And because they probably hate their wives. Because of how much trash there is everywhere and how much shit there is on the street. Look, more shit on the street, crows everywhere. So you're constantly running past crows. There's stray dogs everywhere. How are you, buddy? Whew. Welcome to Mumbai. And trust me, I am not exaggerating for the camera. This shit blew my mind, literally. Behind me right now is a beach where everyone basically takes a shit um, without wiping their ass and butt naked in the middle of the beach. I don't want to sit there and film them personally, but you could have seen by just looking at the footage, people just chilling behind me on the beach. It's actually mad. Look how dirty this water is. There's shit right there. Guys, it's everywhere, yeah? It's not like you have to actually look for it. It's just in the middle of the streets, you have to dodge it. What you guys have seen is, oh, hi. I continued my run as we strolled past Catholic relics. To my surprise, the city of Bandra is mostly Catholic. After being fascinated by the poop beach from before, I found myself curious to see if every beach was like that. I don't know if you guys can see behind me, but the sun is rising. Mumbai looks beautiful from this angle. You got the ocean in front of us. Like, look at that. That shit right there. All this water under me is mixed with shit. I don't know why I'm even walking in this right now. What am I... What? The things I do for you guys, and you still haven't subscribed and bought the million merch? Embarrassing. Actually embarrassing. This little baby sandal. Poor kid got washed up at sea. There's like random shoes. I don't want to touch them because I don't want to get some diseases. Seriously though, no joke, if you want shoes and you're poor, you can literally just come to this beach. And there's all kinds of shoes, like sandals, more shoes. Anyways. I'm gonna go finish my workout. Coffee? Coffee. What is it? Tea. tea? What kind of tea? Chai Karampu. Chai Karampu? How much? 10 rupees. 10 rupees? Yeah. Can I have one please? Oh, that is very, very hot. Oh, that's good. Delicious. All right, so we're gonna be struggling here as uh, these people don't speak really good English. But this uh, Marshallah Shai, it's pretty delicious. It's just hot as f It's got nice spices to it. Hi, my friend. What are you selling? How much is it? 25. 25 rupees? Oh, nice. Okay, yeah, let's have, I try. Oh, wow, you put that with it too? Coconut chutney? Yeah? Oh, okay. Thank you. All this for 30 cents. Look, this is definitely gonna get my hands dirty. Alright, so let's try this. Try it with whatever this shit is. Oh, that shit is spicy. That shit is spicy. So far, the street food I've tried, not the best, but I am excited to try more. Okay, so this is a hospital here 
in Bandra. Like imagine the jewelry store also looks like a slum from on top. Like look, look how they built it with tents, with wooden sticks. That's a jewelry store. You know, you're talking about the highest of revenues. <laughs> Hi, my friend. You sell coffee? Yeah. What's the name of this? Sorry. Name. Tea. What yeah. kind of tea? Uh, masala ginger. tea? Ginger tea. Ginger tea. Yeah. All right, so we're drinking tea with a trash pile right behind us. Ooh. That is so hot. Look at that steaming. Right after I had that uh, breakfast, breakfast food, my friend actually sent me a video, an Instagram reel. He sent me this literally five minutes after I ate it. And it's a dude making it with his armpits. Isn't that mad, bro? Hi, bro. This water from where? Overflow. Overflow. Yeah. And you clean your clothes with it? Yeah. This is everyday overflow? No. So he's cleaning his clothes with overflowed water from the rain. And he's moving fast because in case it runs out, I guess. So on my left and right, you'll see a bunch of shacks. Wooden shacks with uh, people sleeping outside of them and children, etc. I don't want to point the camera directly at them. But all these shacks here and here. While it's still the morning, this area in about five hours is gonna get very, very busy. Yeah, that's the same spot. 10 hours later, as you see around me, Everyone is in these street markets. What you gotta know about this thing before we start, there's a few things you gotta know about India. Every single person negotiates no matter what. They just like to do it. If they spent less time negotiating and just bought shit, they'd probably save more money with their time, but they'll negotiate even to save 10 cents. These markets here, some of them are illegally open. So a officer will come by, if they're bored enough and basically push them out the way. Like this shop right here. That's considered illegal. The police can come by and shut them down at any moment. Look how busy this place is. And also honking never stops. Three in the morning, four in the morning, two in the morning. It's always non-stop honking here in Bandra, India. So we're gonna look for some stuff, maybe buy, shop, bargain a little bit, get a feel for how the area actually is. What's in here? What's in here? Yeah, 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 it's a dope. What can I buy for my mother? New York City? How much? 200. 200? It's $2.50. Let's see what's inside this store. Oh, Michael Kors. How much? 2000 Four dollar. My friend, how much? Uh, 30, 40, 50. 40, 50? Let's try some Indian street food here. All right, so we're eating this in a newspaper. Nice. What is this, chips? Peanuts? Thank you, my friend. Okay, so we have like a, it's like a mixed thing that you eat. All right, we got peanuts. We got some sort of veggies in here, chips. Oh, that's pretty good. That's really good. Spicy, as always. Indians love their spice for, for some reason. From there, I tried to make some friends, and since I was the only foreigner, they saw me as a money sign. Oh. Ah, you want to ah, ha, ha, I'm making friends now. I've just made some new friends. Let's see where they take us. <laughs> what? What does that mean? I'm getting dragged from all sides. Yes, come inside. Yeah, come inside. Basement. You want basement? To yeah. You want to take me to the basement? Yes, come yes. with me. Okay, I'll go with you to the basement. Jingle bell, jingle bell. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell. Some slum dog million. Yeah. Yeah. Excuse me. You are what do you want? Ex excuse you. What do you want? <laughs> I don't know. What do you have? I have 
narrow jeans, baggy no, jeans. No, no, not jeans. Cargo. Shirt? Yes, I have t-shirts. What was I like? Oh, t-shirts. Oh, okay. Give me seven fifty. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm not easy. No, you couldn't do it for like two twenty. No, brother. Two thirty. You couldn't give me two for like four fifty. No, brother. I have not a cost to my two two hundred two hundred. Last final, final, but not the I less. Final price one thousand five hundred five hundred per piece. One thousand five hundred per piece. You 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 would do it for like six hundred. No, no. Final final price. What's what's name? Expensive in Hindi. How much? Six. Six. Six six. Make it seven final final seven. No 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 six hundred six hundred. Okay, no no problem. Laga de bata display bala. You do six hundred seven seven final. No no I don't want. Final. My shirt. Triple line. Mil Triple line. YouTube name. Subscribe. YouTube name. Channel. Subscribe. What? One, one million subscriber. Complete. 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 Seven hundred though. Seven hundred final seven. No, no, no. I'll do six hundred. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Know you. Five fifty. Then no. <laughs> yeah. Seven final. No, 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 no. No, no. If I fought a bit more, I'm sure he would have given it to me for that price. When you get that low, it becomes an ego thing. Your girlfriend racist. My girlfriend racist. Yeah. You Probably, yeah. Yeah, your girlfriend racist, Indian kurta with pants. Yeah, no, my girlfriend is racist, yeah. yeah. You take dresses? Oh, dresses. Yeah. Oh. Oh, you want me to bring a dress for my girlfriend? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were asking me if she was racist. Take one, one by three, buy one, get one, three. But I have four girlfriends. Can you can you sell me four dresses? Yeah, you take four dresses. But different dress. I don't want them yeah. all wearing the same thing. No, no, so different, different dress. Buy one, get one, three. Buy two, get two free. Buy two get two free. Buy one get one free. Only for you special discount. You're my big brother. Really? Your talking is nice. I'm your big brother. Yeah. If I'm your big brother, buy zero get four free. <laughs> no, this is my shop, not I'm worker, not owner. How much? How much for four dresses? Only for you four dresses is three thousand, four thousand. Three thousand, four thousand. Best price is telling you cheapest price. Cheapest you're price. My, yes, you're my big brother. I'm your big brother. Yes, only for you full discount. So you're selling me four dresses for forty US dollars. ये ही होकर जिसे पहनी थी इंडियन सेलिब्रिटी आलिया बट हर लड़की का सपना मरून कलर अपना यहाँ क्या नहीं मेरी जान I understood everything you just said. Paya, no paya. Paya. One dress, how much? One dress only for you, thousand. Thousand, one dress only. One dress for a thousand. Yes. And four for three. You tell me. You tell me. Buy two, get two yes. free. This thousand rupees and this buy one get one free. Okay. You say buy two, get two free, right? Yeah. No. Buy two, two thousand. Buy two, get two free. Yes. So two is two thousand. Yes. And you buy give me two, two free. free. Yeah. Yes. All four of these, yeah. nine hundred. No, oh, brother. This per piece is four hundred. Per piece. Four hundred. Yeah. So you give me exactly. So you give me four, four for nine hundred. You give me deal. No, you no. say buy two get two free. No, this not buy two get two free. This one buy one get one free. No, no, no. no. Only two nine hundred. You just said one is four hundred. How is two nine hundred? Yes, my best. You price. don't. Buy, you forget, my friend. Buy two get one free. This, this two nine hundred and one free. Okay. Buy two get two free. Nine hundred. No, buy two get one free. Oh my uh, God, these, uh, these guys are trying to rip me right now. Oh my God, that was rough. Get me back out. On these honking streets. Photo, photo. He doesn't even know who I am. Hi, how much? This one, sir. This one, sir. How much this one? This one. We want Nike, sir. This one, this one, how much? This one, this 200 only for sir. 200? Yes, sir. Can you do this one for a 60? No, sir. It's cheap rate, sir. It's cheap rate? Yes, sir. They're only for the 200, sir. I'm not getting folded, boys. Hello, this one. One. No. It's two piece, one piece. 120, two piece? Okay, 80, 80, just Nike. Thank you. Yeah, bro. How are you? How are you, bro? Uh, just closing the oh, I can't close camera, no. Stuff? What? The stuff? The stuff? Oh, are you selling stuff? I give you. What kind of stuff? 
What do you want? Like, uh, yeah, you have to turn this off? Okay, I'll put it down. Yeah? Okay. Hey, we we winning out here. We winning out here. Indians are ruthless, and I had just successfully survived my first Hindi negotiation rodeo. So I felt it was time to celebrate with some street food. I tried a potato frangy roll, which was about a hundred rupees. They mush the filling and mix it with some spicy shit. Man, that's spicy. Really good. Potatoes, cheese, veggies. Too strong for me. Thank you, my friend. I'm getting folded by Indian food right now. Every street food I eat is just way too spicy. From there, I tried an Asian Indian street food, which was dumplings with its own Indian twist to it. They call them momos. 50 rupees for four. It's got a bit of curry in it too. Everything in India has that taste, that hint of curry. The hotel rooms, the streets, the clothes. It's like ingrained in them. I'm for sure gonna get sick by the end of this trip. All right, overall, I rate the Momo dumplings. They're good, I'd get them again. Right behind me was a stand selling a chickpea-based dish with corn, onions, and other veggies. The food delivery driver was super friendly, so I asked him to be late on his order to chill with me. 50 rupees for two bowls. Kana. Kana makes you strong. We're eating, we're eating chana right now. Beans, uh, onions, tomatoes. And if you're wondering why your Uber Eats delivery is late, I'm the guy. Oh yeah, that's good. Good? Yeah! Bro, be with me. Come on, please stop, yes. Put your knees up, Rod. Yes. Come on, flex. Yes, Rod, yes. <laughs> I was a bit exhausted from the humidity, so I decided to relax till nighttime. I'm about to show you guys an intersection in India. Okay, what I need you to pay attention to is how many people are beeping. There's so many beeps that the beeps don't matter. <laughs> like, you wouldn't know if someone is beeping at you or at someone else, so they're useless. Anything goes. There's no traffic light. Red and green doesn't mean anything. Look, that light's red, it's flashing. This one's yellow, it's flashing. Anything goes. You can walk through the intersection. You can motor motorbike through the intersection. Three people, three people. You can just walk, yeah? And everyone just pays attention to themselves. Everyone just pays attention to themselves. <laughs> okay? It's a free for all. <laughs> yeah, anyways, hopefully that gives you. Oh. <laughs> hopefully that gives you an idea on how many beeps there are. <laughs> okay? The noise pollution in India surely does something to your brain. It is, it is w way worse than New York City. Of course. No child labor. <laughs> child labor prohibited. There's a sign for that. There's a sign for no child labor. Yo, what's in here? We should, we should go in here. Using the Arab charm, I persuaded the guy to let me see three stories deep underground and give me an entire tour of the metro construction site, which is extremely forbidden. We were hopping over quicksand cement traps and sliding through tight barriers. A thrilling experience considering I could die down here and nobody would ever know. The shit I do for you guys and you can't even go to my site and buy a one mil merch t-shirt. Please guys, come on, have some respect. The guy has a super interesting story. You can watch the full tour on ArabUncut.com. But he started working when he was six years old. Super funny considering right outside there's a sign that says no child labor.